Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, you know, maybe subscribe, maybe come back. Maybe don't. Maybe just come check in every once in a while. Anyway, it is Tuesday morning. It's cold, but it's getting warmer. It's supposed to get up to 40 today, so that's awesome. Almost didn't go to class today. Almost skipped it. Just wasn't feeling it, but at the last minute, got up, went, and I'm glad. It was a benchmark day, which means they like, like did a 500 meter row on the row machine for time. And then in like three or four months, we'll do it again. And like we'd input it into the system. And so when we do it again in three or four months, it's a benchmark. So it's like, we'll kind of check in and see if we're doing any better or improved anything. So that was kind of a good, fun workout. But I gotta get back and get ready for work now and see if my friends are awake. That bath towel. How's your day been? How's it feel to take a two hour nap? Hey oh, oh, balance. Hey, you are the <laughs> surfer boy. This vlog is probably gonna be a two parter because we got to get those Disney vlogs up. Oh. What did that froggy ever do to you? Oh no, he's got it. Guess who else took a two hour nap? You. It's <laughs> not working. It was me. The lighting right now is crisp. And we're going to order some Chicago Diner. Plant life. And we have, we have groceries still, but we got to pull ourselves together. I feel like our apartment needs some TLC. I actually gave it some today. Yeah, no, you gave a lot, but like yeah. we need to. Yeah, we just need to get room, back up on our, our kitchen. Get our back. Stole my sweatshirt. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. The Chicago Diner. Meat free since '83. Oh, yeah. Very cool. I want to eat in there soon, but not today. So we got our dinner. Time to head back home. You are a child's plaything. We're still in Toy Story mode over here. And our food is here. All right. First up, I got spinach. Oh, I joked it. You can have one. Or two or three or four. I got spinach. I choked it. I've heard really good things about it. And I was just feeling it. Peter got their Titanic burger. It has... Spicy aioli on it, as well as I think it's like a BLT burger. So there's um, plant-based bacon, we got salad with balsamic vinaigrette. During my time at Disney, I really wanted to get Walt's chili, and I never did. So I got chili, and I can put this quinoa on it, and it comes with a jalapeno fritter on the side. And James, you got mashed potatoes and gravy. Why do you like Sid so much? I am editing this doozy of a vlog. It's almost eight o'clock. And still not done. You're doing great. It's a good vlog. We gotta get back on track. Are you in Epcot? Magic Kingdom? It's ten o'clock like it's literally like our last clips though, so. I wanna watch it. <laughs> <laughs> You have such a snuggle bug today. That's how he's been like for a whole weekend. Yeah, he's a lover boy. He became a snuggle bug. 
want a little Caesar's pizza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest, I had to edit to light because I took a nap when James took a nap. So, it took long for a reason. But I want to give props to all the like YouTube channels run by one person. Because like you and me are very much so a team. So even like like of course just like Magic Kingdom isn't the same without you and Jamesy with me. But even so, like filming by yourself, thinking of stuff to do by myself, uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's it's tough. What oh and I think it's more like the vlog is funnier when you're there because you're silly. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. Uh oh, can you put Pluto back up? Say good morning. We're so happy you're here. I'll <gasps> build some more. We got Robin Hood on. Really isn't <laughs> catching his attention. Um, but we have the windows open because it is 48 degrees and it feels fabulous. So hopefully we'll get outside today. Our afternoon got chaotic. <laughs> so Sarah's told me just like five minutes left to finish the vlog. So we brought him into his room to play in his beans. It's a pop belly kind of night. He bit my finger like three minutes ago, and it's still... It's still hurting. I can I can feel my heartbeat <laughs> in my finger. He's gonna eat saltines. Peter, show your sandwich. Big Italian, hot peppers, toasted, delicious. I got a pizza melt. I've been feeling jealous of all of the Super Bowl food that they got to eat over the weekend, so I went with that. And we got a pot pie soup for... James and me and these voodoo chips. <laughs> we did not even go outside today and it got up to like 54 degrees, but it's now raining. So obviously we can't go out and have fun. The trouble is, is that overnight it's going to get cold and it's going to snow. So today it was windows open and tomorrow we will have fresh snow. Jamesy, what do you think about it? Him and Eve are still young and fans of snow. Right, Evie? Evie, go. Everson, you like snow? You're a fan? Today, I don't know what's going on with my arm. Today, I have felt like my belly is going through like a growth spurt. Like I feel like my skin is like super stretchy and just uncomfortable. Like today, I'm um, 27 weeks. We're very close to being like officially like three months away from the baby. So six months pregnant. And I was just feeling it today. And so that's why we decided not to cook. We're just gonna have, we have to do like a little bit of cleaning because our, um, our apartment building's having some like plumbing stuff going on tomorrow. Um, so we have to like clear stuff out of cabinets and get ready for that. But honestly, I think we might snuggle up in our bed and like watch a movie or something. We also have been watching all of our old monthly recaps from like 2018 and 2019 when I used to edit like these little monthly recaps. I'll put in the corner the playlist that has all of them. I'm just making us so nostalgic um they're a ton of fun and i'd love to get back to doing them someday um but yeah our our hearts are loving these videos but also very much so missing it james do you see all the fun mommy and daddy had it's like bo peep must must take the sleigh we got some actual rain noise tonight outside. Eve's in the window, Sarah and James were cleaning up, and now James is enjoying a bottle. Kind of a relaxed night. We are kind of re reminiscing, going down memory lane, watching all the old monthly recap videos. I, I mentioned. Oh. 
So now we're listening to Harmonious and, and the Amazon machine while James calms down for the night. Another day. Catch him back up. Over. I hope tomorrow, I think tomorrow will be the same. Um, but I think after that, I think we'll be good. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good afternoon. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. If you like snow, I mean, I guess enjoy because there's a lot of it. <laughs> Get the ball from daddy. I am not feeling well today. I have a migraine. Um, I took a little bit of medicine. I just ate, so hopefully I'll feel a little bit better soon. I also am having like an allergic reaction to Evie. Um, I had therapy today, which went well. I feel like I haven't really talked about that much, but I finally feel like my therapist like knows my story. Like it's been like a really like getting to know you um like relationship and now she can like ask questions because she like knows more about me um and so yeah it was good a good session I go like every or like it's virtual um I talk to her like every week and a half and that seems pretty good as far as like not feeling overwhelmed by like what I have to fill her in on as far as like current events and whatnot. Um, so that was good. I just finished editing while Jamesy is napping, which has been solid today. And I get to go and see Teddy in like, I'll leave in an hour and I have to drive in this snow. Um, we are checking. We I typically wouldn't have an ultrasound now. I am 27 weeks. Um, it's been about four weeks since my last appointment. So we're going to check the location of my placenta. Hopefully it's moved up with my uterus. I do feel like my tummy has gotten a bit bigger. Um, I think I mentioned that yesterday. Like I feel like there's kind of been like a growth spurt. I can definitely feel it. So I'll have an update on that soon. And then also find out today probably when I'm going to get my Rogam shot. That's because... I have negative blood and Peter has positive blood. Um, so there's always like the risk that the baby has the opposite of what I have. And that shot just helps me stay healthy. And then um, I think I'll schedule a, gluca a glucose test soon too. It's bad out there, Peter. I go to one meeting and I come back and it's, it's not Christmas time, so... Do you want to drive me to my appointment? If you watched, come here, come here. Hey vlog. If, this hair. If you watched our Valentine's Day vlog. If you watched what? Our Valentine's Day vlog, we're getting a refund for our tickets. <laughs> so, for the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel apparently closes at seven, so. If but you, everywhere in the world says nine. Everywhere, and there was not a guest services person to be found. So they, they, they were very, the, they, the they, were, they were very kind on the phone and gonna give us a refund. Evie's falling asleep. How's your day? Um, good. Good. Ready for Friday, which is tomorrow. Sarah's gonna go to the doctor. So I'm gonna go clean out the car because this is what we're dealing with. Are you kidding me? And it's supposed to be like this until past eight o'clock tonight. I don't know how many inches, but I'm not thrilled. I do have this outfit on. This lakefront snow is no joke. I'm almost there. And I'm so excited to see Teddy. All right. So we're going to start cooking dinner, even though Sarah might pick up dinner because she wasn't feeling good all day today. Plus, we had like a mute doctor's appointment I don't know if, I, don't, I doubt she gave an update so we'll give an update later but like wasn't good wasn't bad it was just like indifferent well like Sarah told you last visit the placenta's in the wrong spot and it didn't move at all so that might that would require if it doesn't move in the next couple like four weeks I think or two or three I think it's two weeks 
that will still require a C-section regardless of what we want to do. On top of that, Teddy is head straight up. Your brother is head straight up. So that would lean towards a C-section, but Sarah's hungry, she got a headache. So me and I are gonna fry up some uh, Beyond sausage and some broccoli. The plumber came in like the last second. By plumber, I mean our maintenance guy. And he, was, he just walked in and said, do you guys have any leaks? And we said no, and he left and didn't even look at anything. Like we got up super early to clean the kitchen and to clean out like this below the sink and the counter, we took all the chemicals out and all our stuff. He's looking at plants. He's not looking at a ghost or aliens or anything. Um, and then just for him to show up at 20 minutes before, like we had a window from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and he shows up at 3.40. I opened the door, he didn't even want to come in. He goes, do you guys have leaks? I said, no, he goes, okay, thanks. Can you help me cook? Boom. <laughs> You can be in. We got Toy Story 2, we got peppers, we got sautéings, we're about to get some broccoli cooked. We have Hamilton, but it's like a movie playlist, so I don't know how that works. Here we go, we got some Rapunzel. We're about to get these sautéing in here. With this deliciousness. I'm gonna bake that. It's gonna be good. The snow and the drive. Did you in? Did me in. And my headache is raging. I think I have to run later. But I got some treats from yes. 7 Eleven. Because there's a parking lot there. That nut of butters. I want this for it's some fresh. reason. This for me? Mm -hmm. Can I set it till tomorrow? Sure. We got some taquitos. Yeah. Peas and jalapenos. You feel good besides all the headaches and that, all the snows and everything? You feel good about seeing Teddy? Yeah, my placenta's still low. But so. they'll, they'll make the call when I'm 32 weeks. If it's gonna move or not. You really can't will your placenta. You can't do any like tricks like I could to try to get James not to breach. Hit the placenta, so if it's low lying, I'm gonna need a C section, anyways. Yep. So we'll see, but he's like 51 percentile. What? How's the head? His head is average. That's not an average head. <laughs> he says, um, Give me more snacks. Did I learn anything else? I do, I'll give them away later. Here's the finished product some pesto pasta. Some lemon broccoli and some beyond sausage and peppers. Peppers and onions. Whoa, baby. Come here. The vlog is finally live. I'm listening for the last five years. Ah. Jamesy. Give me that. <laughs> Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Good job, baby. Look at him go. <laughs> he does the best when he's not, like, thinking about it. But he's also, oh, gosh. He's also been walking on his knees a bunch. Oh, my gosh. We need to get to some knee pads. <laughs> He's just chilling in his chair, but Sarah's hurting from a migraine. What do you got on your uh snowball? <laughs> I went to the, the windowsill and got some snow for Sarah's headache. It feels so good. I said I wanna go dunk my head in the snow and <laughs> here it goes again snowball. What do you think you're doing? Just chilling in a chair? Hey. This is the end of the night spurt you're getting. You're gonna eat your popcorn in your chair while you watch a movie. Alright, it's 9.25 with Sarah's migraine. Um, we're all just gonna smuggle while well, James has his bottle for the night. So we're just gonna stand up now. Cause we're just gonna kind of relax together as a family and go to bed shortly after 
Orange Theory in the morning. It's Friday, three day weekend. Um, no huge plans this, well actually I have a lot of exercise plans this weekend. I'm taking a 90 minute Orange Theory class on Sunday that's uh, for the American Heart Association. All the proceeds, like it didn't, it wasn't included in my like plan, like you had to donate to, to do it. So I'll do it, that 90 minute class. And then Monday I'm off work, but I have a class then too. So maybe we'll do something fun this weekend. We gotta figure out something. What do you guys think we should do this weekend? Um, maybe get the field pass, field museum. Maybe head back to the Shed Aquarium. Maybe fly to Disney World for the weekend. Just joking. It's not happening. Um, let us know. It's good to be home. We're finally just watching Dear Evan Henson, even if it's not the priority that we do. Yeah. It's Friday, I'm done with work, and we order a blaze. We're basically at Disney Springs, like, like we're going to the movies. She's, she's, that's a stretch. That's a stretch Whoa. to say we're basically at Disney Springs, Whoa. but this kid took a big old nap today. Like three hours. Yeah, you playing with your little people and your, your cream? Pizza. All right, we got some cheesy bread. We're gonna eat that while Peter gets Jamesy's high chair situated. He's ready for dinner. He's ready for dinner. Bon right. bon. Oh, that's my pizza. That's my pizza. Plant based spicy chorizo. Yep. High rise. Balsamic. Balsamic glaze. <laughs> wow. That's mine. Looks juicy. There's mine. Yes, Sarah. Looks delish. It's it's like one of their pre-made ones, like white something or other. White top. White top. <laughs> Do you even blaze? <laughs> Excuse me, Piggy Pie. We just watched Boss Baby, the first one movie, for the first time, full all the way through. He went and got this popcorn himself for the chair to watch the second Boss Baby movie. <laughs> oh no! Sarah's resting. She got another migraine. Kind of day two. It's, it, I didn't wake up with it, but all of a sudden tonight I started to lose my vision and. Down for the count. It's okay, we're gonna make you feel better. I already do. Good. Hopefully she's feeling better. She fell asleep a little bit ago. I just put the baby down. So I'm gonna attempt to clean up this before we call it a night. All right, it's way too late. James just squawked, but he might be going back down to sleep. So we're gonna sign off. Tomorrow, I think we, we start back up regular daily vlogging where we'll post the following day. Um, just took us a little bit to get back into it after we were catching up on those Disney vlogs from last weekend. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>